So I'm standing in Andersonville, Georgia at the Confederate prisoner of war camp that you can see kind of behind me, the fort or the remains of the fort. Um, I'm coming here because this is the story of where our reconstruction really begins. And um, what's kind of cool is that this camp was actually brought back together by FDR CCC in the 1930s. So it really kind of comes full circle for our US History 2 students as to how historical preservation really works. Um, so I'm out here in 93 degrees. Um, I am I'm sweating but I'm bringing you this because this is probably one of the most uh, monumental things I've seen on this trip so far um, what's really awesome is they have a POW museum that is totally free of charge the National Park Service put together it is amazing um, stories from escapees at Andersonville stories of escapees from World War II POW camps ranging all the way up to Vietnam and the Iraq War if you're in the area or you can make a stop I highly recommend it um, but as we go through I'm kind of thinking how how am I going to use this for my students? And one thing that I want them to kind of recognize is this concept of POWs. Who are they? Why are they taken? Um, what significance do they have to the United States government? And ultimately, what role is it uh, as us as U.S. citizens, as well as students of history, to preserve this um, and to make it, you know, last for future generations as the awesome job that's being done here and others. You can just look around me and see how great this is. The other cool part about Andersonville is that it's about 20 minutes away from Plains, Georgia, which is where Jimmy Carter's national birthplace is. And also, there is an opportunity to go to FDR's little White House, which is the hot springs where he um, spent the remainder of his life um, and, you know, ends up dying around there. Okay, so that's it for me for now. Um, but stay tuned later as I'm going to recap what we did in Greensboro, North Carolina yesterday at the site of the first sit-in. And also, we're going to take a look as we go through these monuments to see what's left of Andersonville.